hello beautiful souls welcome to my channel this is your favorite fortune teller divine light and today i'm going to do a coffee cup reading for this week at the end of your reading i'm going to pull some meditations and affirmations cards from this deepak chopra deck and i want to pull a card from this chakra um, deck actually and initially i want to start with what is the energy surrounding you let's see is there any blockages and i'm also using the stream stone here because um you know it's the stream is about like money and gold and abundance and uh let's see what kind of yes we have the gold card here with the energy is matching so this week is going to be probably very abundant for you when it comes to financials let's jump in okay your cup is holding really tightly this is also another good sign this is called the prophet's cup usually we do not open this means that whatever that you had in your mind is a question the answer is positive like it's going to be working out for you whatever it is but for the sake of the video let's open it up and see initially i see two things okay i see a person here standing up and um they're putting their roots down establishing themselves somewhere and um this person is you your energy and you're holding up this wand wand can be the energy of the magician uh, so you are actually creating something for yourself um, and uh, you have all the tools that you need in order to manifest this thing okay seems like in the beginning of the week you're gonna get the chance to use these tools i see a number one here this can be an indication of something brand new also this reminds me of a roof and like there's actually a chimney the smoke is coming out of the chimney of a house this can be a new housing situation for you maybe also like if that's your what you're planning you might find a perfect place um this is actually you're holding up the wand after you enter into this house this space this can be also a, per, a place that you're going to be walking into which will change your energy field which would change your energy maybe like um if you're looking for a new job, this can be the opportunity coming to you. This can be the offer showing up. You're going for an interview. And I see an owl here. So this is going to be someplace that you're going to be intuitively guided to. When you step in there, you're going to probably find the thing that you're in search of. Okay. This magic wand, the magician holds the wand, indicates that you have the tools to create what you want. Okay. You, it's actually your thinking and your actions are going to determine whatever is going to come to your way this week okay i see also like i said here there's like this looks like a dragonfly okay dragonflies um actually indicate that there is going to be an opportunity to show yourselves okay um this is in your heart space so this is probably something that you're manifesting with the gold card coming through this is actually um indication that your all your chakras aligned all your energy is in the right place even if it's not it's going to be in at the end of this week and you're going to actually get the opportunity to manifest this like uh, opportunity that Oh, again i said device opportunity you're going to get the chance to manifest this gold into your life i keep looking at the stream crystals so uh, you're probably going to manifest the money manifest the connections the abundance and everything that you're going to start to see in the signs of it even if you don't get it right away i even see two people here like their hands are up in the air they're celebrating something there is a dragon like a bird something looking here dragons usually indicate money and gold again this is another confirmation of your uh, increase of wealth also there's a ring on the chest of this animal this can be a commitment the offer coming through the commitment can be coming through from a job at like something that you applied for also another source of income another source of abundance in your life this can even be like help showing up if you're in search of uh, like a help i see the a dog's face right here you can see that the nose and the heart shape this can be indication of like a person who's very loyal to you 
that's going to show up in your energy field and i see you're actually grabbing this cup this also looks like tulip tulips are also about masculine energy taking action getting things done but cups is all about emotions and emotional fulfilling events coming your way okay feel like the things that actually the seeds that you planted the, the actions you have taken so far the people that you connected with they're gonna actually start to you're gonna start to see the fruits of your labor at the end of the week okay you're gonna start to connect with there's so many people here probably also like the christmas celebrations like the the preparations all those things are coming through and um, even like new opportunities there's actually another roof here this roof can be um, a space that you're going to be stepping into, that you're going to feel protected and safe, you're accepted. There's also a TP here. So this can even be like if you're planning to buy a place, um, like the, the signals and the signs might start to show up this year. I see here four different people, four different heads they look like. They also look like four different paper. Papers can be contract, new uh, things that you're going to be purchasing, opportunities showing up. If these are the people, they can be the energies that, that you're going to be connecting throughout the week, okay? At the end of the week, most of the time. I'm going to get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. There's a person in your heart, maybe a person that you really want to connect. Number nine is visible, can be a spiritual guide um, or maybe someone who's actually a person that you're in contact with. Maybe it's some, someone giving you help. There's another key here. A lot of keys and rings are showing in this reading. Rings indicate commitment. So if like a financial commitment um, or maybe find like a signing a contract with a new contract with a job, uh, signing a new contract with a person or a person is committing to you in a relationship if that's what you're desiring i also see two people hugging here and your desire is coming like slowly but surely and these two people hugging can be the indication of you maybe uh, meeting with someone that you're far away and they might be showing up they, you might receive the news that they're going to be showing up because like i said um maybe moving towards you uh, this has some time when the time comes though it's just gonna happen right away okay uh, what else we see here i see you're standing with a torch in your hand even like your fist is in the air so there's a letter a here w is visible like william ali e as in eric and um also there are two people like you're holding a person here and uh, or maybe someone that you're trying to reach you're trying to connect is going to come through your desire is also actually going to be for the long term coming through and you have a ring this can be someone that you have like a commitment with doesn't have to be um romance but i see a cup on top of this person's head so uh, that person that you're actually getting a hold on will come to you with an offer okay you're holding a torch up here that actually indicates the victory that you're going to be manifesting in the middle of the week. Let's get to your meditations and affirmations cards. These are actually uh, from this uh, Deepak Chopra deck and I do his meditations and they inspire me most of the time. Um, so I wanted to pull up a card and two cards actually fell down. Here we have the third eye chakra with the purple and the... Um, also the pink is this the pink chakra we have a, oh this is actually the third eye the, um, this is the pineal gland on top of our heads this is the, another chakra but it's all about like spirituality here the messages coming through regarding that okay let's see what the messages are the first one says i can stop time when i take in more energy than i give off life represents a cosmic capacity to manipulate both time and energy so if you feel like you don't have much time to do the things um try to take in the energy more energy so taking more energy is actually like meditation is, a, uh, is actually a way to take in energy doing things that inspired you artful like art artistic things painting uh, like uh, sketching singing um 
I mean, something related to music, whatever actually inspires the most. Doesn't even have to be any of the things. Maybe wood carving is inspiring you, okay? When you do those kind of things, you can actually expand the time and you create more energy within yourself. And another thing, I do not measure myself by any external standard. The flow of life, life's abundance brings me everything. Turn the path of desire, which for the most people is focused on worldly things. Uh, and redirect it to a higher plane. This is actually about um, like handing over, uh, let God, okay, let go, let God. There's a saying like that, let God take over. If you don't believe in God, there's an energy in all of us and um, let that energy take over because it's working for you. It's trying to deliver the things that you really desire from your heart, okay? Uh, as, as long as they are useful to you and uh, others as well, okay? All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical week. Bye.